Okay, okay. I've had enough. I've had enough. I was, I'm, lo- I'm looking around to see where's that barf bag I've been saying I'm going to have by my desk to make sure that uh, no accidents happen on air, like over the keyboard and just go and just throw up all over the place, man. When historians go back to this day and time in this era that we're living ever since the after times from 2020, they're going to label these times as the nightmare days the great awakening and then also the great nightmare is what this is going to be there that's your favorite populist right-wing troll the greatest social media person of all time dylan mulvaney and that's i'm gonna you know i've talked about these pronouns and i've talked about for people i respect i will honor the pronouns no different to me it's no different than a nickname or something like that i can call you by a nickname i'll call you mike or i'll call you know usually i'll call you but by what your nickname is if i if we got respect if we got beef i won't so i'm not gonna i do not would not use the right pronouns or the pronouns that this person uh dylan wants to use so i'll just refrain because i don't i really don't know what youtube does with that but Last year, extremists turned my series Days of Girlhood into something to be ashamed of, Mulvaney said while addressing the haters. The single, this music video from Dylan, came from my desire to reclaim my relationships to femininity and celebrate trans joy. I've never written a song before, but I knew I wanted to feel... I wanted it to feel like the opening of an early 2000s romantic comedy. Okay, you got a little bit of that. It sounds like Friday from Rebecca Black. I'm releasing the song on my second year. Are we doing the second year of transition? Anniversary, and I'm so honored to be partnering with the Trevor. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that's not a good group. (laughs) I'm not going to sidetrack. I'm so grateful to my followers who have watched my journey unfold and hope that when they listen to the song, they will hear the joy it has brought me. Hey, go have your joy. I'm a part of it. Of, of course, I'm a part of it as well. We are seeing a whole economy spring up that's based on triggering the populist right. What happens? You trigger the populist right, especially women. That's good. I think women do get triggered over uh, Dylan. And so you got women. If you can trigger women on the populist right, that is pure algorithmic gold right now i don't make these rules and that's what dylan's got that's why dylan's one of the best what happened with coffee gate samira khan and hannah baron whatever her you know that petite um you know tomboy girl is that's what that was samira khan knows this great marketer does a troll tweet against the populist right or that group that type of group and then it gets 61 million views then hannah whatever her name is hannah comes in and she brings her black rifle coffee the democrat uh sponsored or or allegedly associated coffee brand and milks off of that jumps on x had didn't have a an account on x at all last i saw over two hundred thousand. let me take a look at uh hannah real quick in one day last i saw in one day hannah and her name will pop up automatically baron hannah baron her account rose up to as she's the catfish girl two hundred thousand followers in one day you how much you couldn't how much money would it take to get let's assume they're all real two hundred thousand followers in one day i, th- I believe it's real the original samira khan tweet got 61 million over 61 million views all by triggering the populist right now yo wow middle maga 